The breadth and dynamics of the economic shock and related liquidity stress in March of this year were unprecedented. The shock caused a fundamental repricing of risk and a heightened demand for safe assets. Speedy, sizable, and sweeping policy measures by central banks, regulators, and governments alleviated the market stress. These policy measures were successful, but the need for them has again raised questions about the resilience of some parts of the financial system. Thanks to the reforms implemented after the 2008 financial crisis and other measures taken by market participants, some parts of the system, particularly banks and financial market infrastructures, were able to absorb rather than amplify the macroeconomic shock. However, some key funding markets experienced acute stress and public authorities needed to take a wide range of measures to support the supply of credit to the real economy. The March turmoil underscores the need to strengthen the resilience of non-bank financial intermediation, or MBFI. The FSB's holistic review sets out an ambitious work program for reforming NBFI. Over the next two years, we will analyze these risks, undertake risk assessments, and set out a series of policy measures. Our initial analysis will focus on a few key areas, money market fund resilience, liquidity risks and liquidity management in open-ended funds, margining practices in derivatives markets, and the liquidity structure and resilience of core bond markets. We'll also take steps to improve monitoring and analysis of non-bank financial intermediation. We'll consult publicly on key decisions, and more information about the work program is available to the public on the FSB website. The work ahead is ambitious, but necessary, and with the full engagement of the diverse and expert membership of the FSB, we can make significant advances in supporting a comprehensively resilient financial sector.